This is 3FM. I did actually stand in 2011, but was unsuccessful. So then I stood and was elected to the Ramsey Town Commissioners in 2012. Then I didn't stand for the election this year with uh, because I was in two minds whether to go forward for MHK, which I have done. Um, because I say, um, rather than standing on the sidelines, I'd like to be at the forefront. I think I can, I can represent people well, um, give it my my damnedest, give it my my full time effort. On a local level, when I've been round on the doorsteps, people are worried about the amount of empty shops in the town, so we need to attract more business. There's also some empty office space and industrial units, um, because I myself I work in Douglas, but I have to make the trudge over the mountain every day, and it's but. As I say, but it's we've got such a variety of businesses in Ramsey shops and things that we could attract more people. The more people we get there working and shopping, the more it'll grow. I think if we can, I say, attract more international business to the island because we've got, say, lots of space, we've got beautiful scenery, it's a wonderful place to live. So if we can get people, and we've got the expertise both legally and financially on the island. There's nothing to stop people relocating here. Um, so if we can do, you know, if we had more of a more of a push nationally and on a local level, the Ramsey Town Commissioners and the Chamber of Trade are keen, obviously, to attract more business to Ramsey. So I think a concerted effort, because ultimately it's the balance between being a Ramsey MHK and doing for Ramsey and a national politician as well it's the balance of the two but ultimately anything that benefits the island will ultimately ben benefit the individual towns i'd say everything seems to be douglas central now because all the government offices are well practically all the government offices are based in douglas so that's where it all goes on there's no reason in this digital age why they can't spread about a bit because you can do so much online now um, as you say, and plus the fact that um, there's not we don't have as bad a parking issues. All the parking in Ramsey is free, so there's that to bear in mind. I say we've got a lovely variety of shops and things. Regarding Brexit, um, obviously that's a worry to everyone. We don't know what effect, if any, it will have for it will be years down the line. But in the meantime, um, we should. Because I feel we have so many um, people who are used to doing international business and legal things on the island, we should pick their brains and see whether what they like to see us do, how we could help one another to build trade at that level. And also, depending on how things go in the UK, if we have to renegotiate Protocol 3. We've got a a great, a great hospital. I mean, we're, we're very lucky on the island that we don't have to travel miles and miles to to get to hospital. Um, and obviously, we've got the agreement with the UK, which is very good because we've got the patient transfer for treatments over there, which we're very lucky for. I think the main thing, obviously, you, you can't control spending totally in healthcare because you don't know what's going to arrive at your door or what illnesses are about. I think the main thing now is with the overspend is just getting staff because from what I understand a lot of the overspend has been because of agency and contract staff so it's getting people to relocate and become permanent staff here. I think the danger is because the public sector pension scheme is so uncertain I think if we could get some some certainty about the way forward with that so that people knew what they were coming to, it would help. We are very lucky, and I think the, the neighbourhood policing helps the fact that you you get to see more poppies on the street. I think it does make a big difference if you can identify with, particularly from, I mean, I've got an 11 year old son, and the fact that you see the poppies walking about makes a bit, they're not just very remote, they seem to be there, they're not just at the end of a phone, and they are very, I say, very contactable, which helps. The, 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 just the danger is if because of financial or other constraints if that if that but to lose the personal touch that would be a big loss so I'd like to see that continue 
and I think the emergency services and the health service and education are the three main things that we need to maintain. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.